Hi guys, and this is a video on discussing an application with software really. Um, Mono. Now what the hell is Mono? Mono is a cross-platform open source .NET development framework. Well, no, just as simple as that. Um, Mono allows you to run Microsoft libraries or frameworks and you know, Microsoft tools, technologies to run on um, any operating systems. Linux, Apple, um, Windows. As you can see, it allows you to run .NET, ASP.NET, GTK, WinForms. Um, so here, C Sharp, VB8, Java, Python, Rugby, you know, Ruby, FL, um, uh, F Sharp, Oxygen, whatever. So it allows you applications which is written in um, those languages, C Sharp and all that. Now normally these are Microsoft Microsoft stuff and um, these applications uh, normally only runs on Windows but if you have Mono installed which is like a library you can run applications which are um, dev which are use which uses Mono to to develop and r applications which uses uh, um, C sharp or something languages to run on Linux. Now some um, Ubuntu installs Mono on default, and uh, there are lots of softwares on Mono installed um, through Ubuntu, which here here are some applications which uses Mono. Beagle Desktop Search to GNOME Do, GNOME Do, Blam, F Spot is the photo managing program which um, installs on default on of Ubuntu. And there's also this thing called Tomboy, which is a very um, useful note taking tool here. Those run Mono. Now, there, there has been a bunch of. Uh, um, rumor, a bunch of rumors that Debian is getting, is um, getting no mono, is getting mono installed on default on the for the next release, because Tomboy is very useful, it's very powerful. Debian wants Tomboy, but Tomboy is written through mono, so it requires a mono to um, run um, G sharp applications or G plus plus applications. Now. There's been a lot of fuss about this. Why? Because when Mono, when when you install Mono, what you're accepting is you you want um you're accepting um G sh running G plus plus or G sharp applications on Linux. Now you may ask me, uh, what's wrong with that? Now it's not really wrong, but you're running Microsoft's technology on um. Linux, serious. So, um, f free software foundation comes up and say, why free software shouldn't depend on Mono or C Sharp? And Richard Stallman is a very powerful guy. He, um, he's the leader of free software foundation, and he always oppose um software which are not free, um, and recommends people to use. Um, Linux or um, free software alternatives. Now he says here that um, Debian is going to include Mono for the next release of GNOME. Now Debian usually is very strict about free software. The Debian and Fedora are the two Linux distributions who are um, more strict, who are um, especially st particularly strict on as uh, a choice of software, where including only free software. They don't include poetry um, drivers or any non-free stuff. Unlike Ubuntu, which has a bunch of um, poetry drivers for Linux and you know, all that. Now it loses a bit of compatibility, but who cares? You know, when Debian, free software leader, wants to include Mono, Richard Stallman gets angry and says, "Oh, free software, Mono doesn't it doesn't." Um, go with it. free software doesn't go with mono they're saying that it's not safe to run Microsoft technology on um, Linux because uh, 
because this puts um, Linux in great risk. Why? Because Linux is a free software, and G plus C plus plus um, on C sharp or whatever Microsoft technology isn't free. It is owned by Microsoft. These applications, these technologies, is copyright. It's owned by Microsoft. So they're saying, so Richard Stallman saying that this could put Linux at risk. Oh, Microsoft could just claim their patents over Linux because, you know, it's their technologies, it's copyright, and Linux is not. So they can say, oh no, no, people, every application, every Linux distributions with Mono in it will be Microsoft now because you know they're using Linux using copyright technologies from Microsoft so after a while Microsoft comes up and says we promise you that we won't sue you for using some of its applications they're saying like um, C++ and all that C sharp language and you know, all that applications most of the mono run applications um, or codecs and libraries they pr they promise that they won't do anything to you now yeah now it uh, it includes this um while promising not to sue linux over c sharp and c l i it doesn't uh, there are a lot there are others and they do not include um, Windows specific libraries such as ASP.NET and Windows Forms. Now these they don't um, they don't include in the community promise although most applications running through Mono doesn't have these applications so most applications are um, free from the um, threat although um, some applications do so it's your choice you you can do whatever you want and a bunch of you they um they're committed and they they they're saying that they won't um they they don't think they re they are under any threat because they haven't received any claim from Microsoft so they're saying that if it should be fine to um use mono ubuntu says that although if you are f a strict free software person then you could easily remove mono easily from um, ubuntu by executing this um, command through terminal so whatever you think you can do more research oh, i'll put some links and some more um, websites on this articles on this um, um, in the description thank you for listening to my video please comment rate subscribe